guys it's me Samantha so I am here with a very glowy base because I was playing with some makeup and I wanted to further play with some makeup because I've purchased a ton of crap since uh, Black Friday and yeah I wanted to start using some of it so if you've watched the video where I talk about brands I would like to try in 2021 the first one I mentioned was Kaleidos and I did purchase the escape pod and I'm so happy tomorrow Angelica Nivist uh, collab is coming out and I'm going to be placing an order for that but yes so I purchased this on black like right after Black Friday they didn't have a sale but I really wanted to get it and I picked it up finally this is what she looks like in all her glory and then I also picked up two of the highlighters this is ray rider and then the new mars melter which is like more pink i kind of i'm wearing a cream highlight right now and a liquid one underneath so i mean it is gonna affect the way these kind of look oh i forgot to mention hi i'm sam i'm a mom of three i work full time and i'm a makeup enthusiast and i am just playing with makeup for fun and i don't take myself too seriously and neither should you so and yeah let's just keep it moving so it may affect a little bit how these highlighters look but they've been out for quite a while and you could search plenty of videos and also swatches on google for the colors if you're looking for like the exact look but i think i mean my highlight is there but the mars melter is like clearly a pink duochrome which is very different than what's on my skin so i think you will be able to catch that one and that's the one i'm gonna probably play with the ray rider is a little bit more of a neutral shade if i remember correctly it says a velvety golden champagne with a trace of peach cruise through the um gilding galaxy gilded galaxy and carve through solar flares on this lustrous golden ray and then the mars melter oh let's see what else that was. a peachy caramel doze with a magenta red glow melt through the martian mousse and treat yourself to a warm scoop of creamy crimson and peach all right i couldn't pronounce that for whatever reason so this is the ray rider it's very champagne -y. i'm gonna swatch them on my hand and then you can see them that way and this is what she looks like definitely champagne -y on a little bit lighter side than i would normally go for but i think she's really pretty like beautiful um like intensity like you can see right there it's like looks wet and then let's do the mars melter this is the one i really was like oh it looks like fire look at that like pink shift i don't even know if you can catch it of the lights let me turn down the lights so there you go the two highlighters so we're gonna play with this one today along with the eyeshadow and i'm gonna zoom you in so we can create some kind of look all right so let's open her up palette there's the plastic slid out and this is what she looks like purples and greens with a couple orange and blue so i think what i want to do is i think i'm going to do purple and green with a little bit of blue so i'm going to start off with this one and it's called soiree looks very pretty um and subtle Kids are playing outside and acting like crazy people. So please excuse the screams. That is so pretty. Like I could just walk out the house just with that one shade. All right, we're gonna go into Ectoplanet, which is this blue like shade there. It's like kind of like a periwinkleish blue. I'm using a brush I don't really use. But because I have it, I 
should. That's not going on great, and I don't know if it's the brush, so I'm gonna use something I normally use. This is the BH17. That looks very pretty. And then I think what I'm gonna do is take this shade Saturn Alia, which is the darker green, put it on the center, and then I'm gonna bring this one Galactica Gala to the inner corner, the inner part of like the lid. Oh, that is beautiful. That is stunning. Oh my goodness, I feel bad even just wiping the residual off my finger and not putting it on my eyeball. So I'm gonna go into that blue again and just blend the edge just a bit and go into that galactic gala and put that in the inner portion oh my god so beautiful we're gonna take starlight sonata which is this shade here and put that in the inner corner holy smokes this is so pretty i'm gonna go and with that first purple shade, the Soiree, the lavender color. Sorry, my fourth child is going home. He's not my child, but he lives down the street and he is here most days since the pandemic. He's the kid's pretty much only friend and I think my kids are his, <laughs> pretty sure. We're the only people he hangs out with, so yeah. Oh my god, that is so beautiful. So, so pretty. The shadows do all the work. You don't have to do anything. You could literally have zero skill and the shadows do absolutely everything for you. I'm going to do exoplanet on the outer corner of this and then take that purple and drag it across. Alright, so we're going to diffuse that with the light purple shade beautiful and then I'm gonna bring that green to the bottom as well I always do that I'm like get all the way down there sorry guys okay I'm going to re-up my mascara because I filmed before this not really thinking I was going to do another video and I kind of put some light mascara but I'm going to darken it up and then finish the other eye and we'll show we'll get to like highlighter and stuff like that but oh my god I'm really really happy with this. If you're interested in what mascara I'm using, I'm using a sample of the, it's the uh, Milani Highly Rated um, Mascara. I think this is great. I bought the full size, but I'm going to use this one up first to not be wasteful because I had received this as a sample and then my mom gave me an Ulta gift card and I purchased a backup. you guys see the shadow and how beautiful it is and so we're gonna play with this highlighter now and I'm 
super pumped. So I typically use a really fluffy, like flimsy highlight brush, but I'm gonna use something a little more dense so we can get more payoff. And we're gonna use this Mars Melter, the newer one. I wish I got Prophecy too. I don't know why I didn't pick it up, but maybe when I pick up the new palette, I will pick that up. All right, here we go. Holy smokes. It's very glittery and I don't usually go for that, but today we're just going to live our best life. I don't know if you can see it because when I turn my head, I'm turning away from the monitor, but it looks really cool in real life. And build it up a little bit so I can be sure maybe on this side I'll be able to see better in the monitor all right here we go so I'm not sure what you can see or what you can't see but it looks really really cool in person and I really enjoy it so I'm super pumped and excited for the new palette I don't know why I haven't purchased anything from them before I do want to say like the packaging is so cool but like you know I always try to like kind of hold the palette to see if I can like actually do my makeup in the mirror and the mirror in this palette is stunning but I will say that the palette itself is so bulky that your hand gets like tired and it's kind of hard to like hold it in a certain way. So that's my only kind of complaint about it. But the shadows are gorgeous. The packaging is absolutely stunning. And yeah, I'm really, really happy with what I got. I can't wait to put in another order tomorrow. All right, guys. So this is the final look. I'm super happy with how it came out. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to hit the subscribe button. It really helps my channel out. And until next time, thank you guys. Love you. Bye.